Glyn Taylor case. So Glyn Taylor were missing from Lincolnshire in the UK since July the 11th, 2001. He was aged 21. Glyn disappeared making his way home after his car broke down. Glyn was last seen in Quadring Bank at about 3.30pm on the day that he disappeared. He was heading in the direction of Donington. Anyone with any information regarding the disappearance of Glyn Taylor should contact the Lincolnshire Police on 101, which is from the UK, or via the online contact form at www.lincs.police.uk. Additionally, you can contact the Missing People Charity on the free phone or text, which is 116000 or email 116000 at missingpeople.org.uk for some confidential advice and support. Glint's blue Seat Ibiza was found in Quadring Bank. Glynn lived on the RAF Wittering Air Base as a boy. The childhood friend of a man who had went missing in Quadring Bank in 2001 has made a renewed calls for information about his disappearance. Michaela Ives, who is now 42, says that she is still in shock that Glynn Taylor has not been seen since Wednesday the July the 11th, almost 18 years ago while on a trip home from Lousborough University. A dog search of the area was carried out and leaflets issued into shops and homes appealing for some information. But to this day, there have been no further leads on what happened to him. Michaela runs a Facebook group called Missing Glyn Taylor, Spalding, Lincolnshire, and regularly updates it with messages to Glyn and photographs in hope that he will get in touch. He will be almost 40 years old this year. He may have his own family now, she said. Quote, I pray that he is safe. He has got to be somewhere. I wish I knew. It breaks my heart when I think about him. He was so young. It just baffles me what happened to him. Quote, he was about six foot tall and slim with the most piercing blue eyes that you can imagine. He used to make music videos and I can remember listening to him playing his guitar and singing. Michaela, who now lives in Petersburg, first met Glyn on the RAF Wittering base where they had lived with their own families. He was aged around 11 to 12 years old. Quote, my dad, Chris Bell, set up a youth club on the base, she said. I got to know Glenn through that. My dad helped to teach him electronics and he learned to play the guitar. He was a lovely kid, such a sweetheart, a genuinely lovely boy. When I first heard that he had gone missing, I was shocked. I had seen him a few months before it happened when he had come to visit me and my mum and my dad. Quite soon after, I heard that he had gone missing and I was distraught. The Spalding Guardian reported on Glynn's disappearance on our front page on July the 19th, 2001. His mum Susan made a desperate appeal for him to get in touch and had said that the whole family was very worried about him. Donington Parish Councillor Jane Stanley had said, quote, I remember the reports when Glyn went missing. I did not know him personally, but I remember reading it in the local news. And I remember the police search. Michaela added, quote, Glyn, we are thinking about you and I hope that you are okay. People are looking for you. We won't be angry with you. I would have tears of joy actually knowing if you are okay. Detective Superintendent John McAdam, head of the Protecting the Vulnerable Persons Unit for Lincolnshire Police, had said. 
This has been a significant investigation over the years and we remain committed to finding the truth behind what has happened to Ben and this is since his disappearance. Quote, this will continue to be an extremely difficult time for his family and his friends and Lincolnshire Police remains committed to investigating any new information. I would encourage anyone who has any information mm -hmm. they haven't told us to get in touch. Our inquiry remains open and will do so until we find Lynn. If you have any information about Flynn's disappearance, you can contact the police on 101. On July the 11th, 2001, a letter arrived from his university showing £2,000 that is unpaid accommodation fees. He told his mother it must be a mistake and that he was going to drive to Loughborough to clear up the issue. When he didn't return that night, his family assumed that he was with friends or working the night shift at the local factory. It later transpired that Glyn had not worked there for the last two weeks, despite claiming to work there every night. In his room, his family found many porn broken receipts, even for small items like kitchen utensils. They later found out that Glyn had racked up £9,000 in debts and this was over the last two years. This was very surprising as he was living a frugal student life, not known to be a heavy drinker or a drug user. Yet one of the last phone calls he has ever made was to a money lender. Glenn was last seen in the early afternoon after his car had broke down, walking in the direction of his house about three miles away. His last purchase was some cigarettes from a local garage. The area from which he disappeared is a flat countryside, but by no means remote. So I did do a um, tarot card reading on this case. And the first question I asked was, what happened to Glenn Taylor? Reverse Five of Swords. There was a compromise and to end a conflict. Reverse page of wands. Someone was very gullible and very impatient. Reverse ace of pentacles. There was a lack of financial control. Queen of swords. There was a female who was very protective and truthful about what she wanted. Reverse king of cups. Either Glyn Taylor or another male did not have a good intention because his emotions was not so good. Queen of Pentacles. There was a female who was, um, who had a social status about her, but very successful, independent and wealthy. Ten of Cups. There had been some form of a celebration, a happy marriage or a relationship. Reverse seven of wands, there had been some giving up and admitting to defeat. Reverse page of cups, there had been some childhood issues or some sexual abuse issues. Reverse eight of wands, there had been a return from travelling and had some restrictions. Two of swords, there was a decision that had to be made due to facing some fears and being torn with what to do. Who was involved in the disappearance or responsible for the disappearance of Glenn Taylor? Reverse Emperor. There was an older male that was very stubborn and out of control. Ten of Swords. There was a betrayal, an enemy that caused a lot of bad things to happen. Ten of Wands. There was a lot of problems, restrictions and a struggle. Queen of Cups. There was a female that was tend to be like a very nurturing person that was loving, shy and pretty. Reverse Nine of Cups. There was unhappiness and some devastation. Where is Glyn Taylor? Reverse Nine of Wands. So there is someone who is refusing to compromise or to give in. Reverse Six of Cups. There is letting the past go and growing up. Reverse Wheel of Fortune, there is unwelcome change and disruption. Reverse Three of Wands, 
they had been overturned from a travel due to poor plans for ones. There's a happy family coming home for some teamwork or a lot of community that's coming together. What is the final outcome to be for Glyn Taylor's case? Reverse seven of pentacles. There is to be some problems to do with financial issues and wanting to finish what was started. Reverse hangman. There is to be discontentment, impulsiveness and negative patterns. Five of wands. There is an argument or a conflict that is to be found out and people are to go on the defensiveness. What is very specific in the area where Glynn is located? Letter Q, question mark, letter G, goat, gun, geometric shapes, letter W, a yacht, yew tree, astrology symbols, letter A, ape, axe, an interfering person, palm tree, nail, needle, Letter T, children, letter U, shelter, unicorn, and knots and tangles. So I did do a ghost tube session and I asked the question of what happened to Glyn Taylor and this is the image that came through. I then said, who was involved or responsible for the disappearance? And this is what we had. Where is Glyn Taylor? And what is the final outcome to be for Glyn Taylor's case? Okay then everyone, so that is the case of Glyn Taylor. Until next time everyone, take care. Bye bye.